at the Craft Brewing Conference here in Denver, Colorado. What we've got in the booth is great. We have a three vessel brew house that's going into uh, the Chicagoland area. And it's a mash mixer, a louder ton, and a brew kettle whirlpool. The hot liquor tank is integrated into the platform because we had very little room to work with. So it's, it's neat to walk through and we've had a lot of comments about how well orchestrated things were. Um, how well engineered so that the brewers can get to all of the equipment easily. We also have in the booth from Sprinkman a dry hop skid which allows brewers to add hops in the fermentation in their cellars and it's been a big hit. We've had a lot of interest in that piece. And the last piece is a small inexpensive two tank CIP cart for that small brewer that's growing but is concerned about cleaning and chemical and safeties and all those good things. So this year just having joined forces with Sprinkman, we try to show our new capabilities with the Sprinkman families. The biggest takeaway for the North American market will be that we're actually going to manufacture in North America. So we have a product made in the USA, which will be driven and supported by German engineering. So we have certain key components, which Steinecke is worldwide known for, and these now will be included in a North American made product. So the CBC seems to have grown quite a bit over the last six years. Uh, when we first went to CBC, everything, there was probably a few manufacturers that brought equipment out. Now it seems like everybody does. Uh, so yeah, I'd say it's, it's, quite the, it's quite the show now. It seems like it's, it's like the Geneva Auto Show of brewing, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so we, we purchased our first Sprinkman 10-barrel uh, system in uh, 2013, and we've been very happy with it. Uh, quality construction is very high. Uh, Sprinkman being just an hour away from our location obviously uh, was helpful for us. We did look at a lot of uh, the bigger producers before settling on Sprinkman. Not settling, I'd say we were lucky to find Sprinkman. Um, but really, uh, the quality of the construction, uh, the proximity to our location, and the customer service has been exceptional. We're having a really good show. Uh, it's nice for Sprinkman in years past, we were by ourselves, and the amount of leads we received yesterday exceeded what we would normally see for an entire show. So it's been a wonderful experience to work with Prones here at the show. This year the CBC is very busy as always. You can tell in the morning people had long nights so it's a little calmer. But towards the afternoon we have a good turnout and there are plenty of leads coming in. It's bigger, bigger and badder than ever. So I mean, I haven't even made it through half of the expo yet. Uh, I'm going to try to make it through the rest of it, but there's just so much cool stuff here that it, you get sidetracked real quick. But it's my 14th CBC, so been doing it for a minute. Uh, I'm a board member with the Brewers Association, but uh, I know there are over 14,000 uh, brewers or uh, you know brewery startups here that are you know attending to shop for equipment to. Uh, you know, promote their wares. Uh, the amount of exhibitors and vendors that have come to is a record number. Uh, so there doesn't seem to be any slowing of growth in the craft brewing world. Ba -ba -ba -da -da.